Did you know Microsoft and Pebble were working on an app for Windows Phone? They were. We're going to show you what it's all about, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central and I got a surprise for you guys today. It is the Pebble Connect app, which you can see right here. So this is the official app that Microsoft was working as a demonstration to the Pebble company to sort of get, uh, to show them that the Pebble device here can work with Windows Phone. So it's up on the store, uh, you can't install it. And if you download it and try to sideload it, it won't work either because of some restrictions. We've gotten around those restrictions due to some magical help. And I'm just gonna show you what it's all about here. So I'm gonna launch the app and you can see it uh, how it connects up so it's not a very pretty app it's meant for diagnostic and testing but you can see here there's a log screen now I do want to say before you uh, connect your pebble to go into pairing mode um, you need to like launch the app and you need to go into the battery saver here and you're going to see uh, pebble connect beta and you want to make sure that that's enabled otherwise it won't work um, you need to have it running in the background it's off by default you need to set it manually to um, run in the background once it's running of course it does run but uh, you do need to enable that before it gets any further. Once you do though, you go into this screen here, you can see all the notification types. So you can do phone calls, app uninstall, which is kind of a weird notification, uh, email, uh, toast notification. So that's just like general notifications, uh, specifically alarms, reminders, and media. I'm not really sure what media is, but it's kind of interesting. You also have more settings here. No notifications during quiet hours. For some reason, it doesn't seem to stick, but uh, you can select that. Email notifications for only inbox and disable all notifications on watch. So kind of interesting. And then this is actually the really cool part here, which is uh, the list of apps. So these are all the apps installed on my phone. And I can actually go through and basically check and uncheck which ones I want to presumably notify the Pebble. Um, so that is kind of neat stuff. Uh, obviously, Domino's Pizza, Discuss. And so if you see this one here, DevBit, it's just a developer version of the Fitbit app that I use. Um, but you'll see facts and notifications for that. Once it's running though, you can see it actually, uh, and I do have my custom Windows Central background there. But um, we can go into notifications. You can kind of see the history of it. Uh, let me zoom in there because it's a little bit far out. So smart things is my uh, for the house and it's basically telling me uh, these are notifications for my doors open. Uh, smart things is of course the um, connected hub for your your home that you can use. And you can see I got my Fitbit notifications, App Store. Um, actually, some now some of these notifications in here are going to be from my iPhone because that's what I used to have this uh, testing with. But let me actually show you to prove that this actually works because that's probably what you guys really want to see. So I'm going to. Power this off. And I got my other phone here, and I'm just going to type in Windows Central. Of course, I misspelt it. It's kind of hard typing while you're uh, recording a video. And let's see, okay, so I got Windows Central there, and now I'm going to send, and we'll see what happens. And as you can see, the message comes right up. And so you get the messaging, Dan Rubino, Windows Central, and it works just as it should. And the only notification I um, is kind of funky is uh, incoming phone calls. Uh, it does work, but it uh, when it comes in, I don't want to do it right now because of the phone number stuff, but um, when it comes in, it basically tells you to update the app on your phone to Pebble 2.0. So there's a little incompatibility issue going on there, but uh, overall, it generally works and you know more importantly it works for text it works for skype notifications even cortana alerts will come through it um so definitely very interesting and the vibration alert on pebble i always forget how loud it is it's um it's something you cannot miss so there we go head to windows central for more information and yes we are going to be distributing the apex file for you you will need probably a developer unlocked phone but other than that you should be able to sideload it yourself and if you have a pebble you can go ahead and use it and knock yourself out there you go Take care, buddy.